No matter how you look at it, airplanes are truly amazing. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at a medium-sized passenger jet, comparing it to other things to help us better understand how it works. I'm Yasin, and welcome to the Animatic YouTube channel. First, let's talk about flying altitude. A seagull typically cruises at around 1000 meters for long distance flights. A medium sized helicopter flies at about 3000 meters. But a passenger jet? It soars at a minimum of 8000 meters during long haul flights. Now let's consider the weight of this flying giant. If we had a big enough scale, we'd find that a medium-sized passenger jet weighs around 42 tons, which is roughly the same as two Volvo trucks. To generate enough thrust to lift that weight, the jet's engines consume a whopping 120 cubic meters of air every second. That's enough air for the average adult to breathe for 8 straight days. The engines powering these aircraft are incredibly powerful. In fact, if you wanted to replace the engines with cars, you'd need around 56 Formula 1 race cars to provide enough thrust for takeoff. When it comes to landing, an aircraft's wheels play a crucial role. They will descend immense pressure and temperature ranging from 40 to 150 degrees Celsius. To put things into perspective, the wheel of an Airbus A320 is 42 inches in diameter compared to a land cruiser's 30 inches. While the car tire typically has around 35 psi, an aircraft tire uses nitrogen to prevent fires and is inflated to between 100 and 200 psi. For added durability, a layer of aramid, a material also used in bulletproof vests, is incorporated into the tires. To prevent tire blowouts, airplanes have a safety feature called a fuse plug. If the pressure and temperature inside the tire increase excessively, the lead alloy in the fuse plug melts, releasing excess air. This prevents catastrophic tire failures. I hope you enjoyed this video, until next time, keep looking up!